Hello and welcome to this Infusionsoft tutorial brought to you by Spiffy. In this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to add custom fields to any Infusionsoft order form. As you'll notice here, we're asking for your dog's name prior to someone checking out on this order form. This is an Infusionsoft order form, although we do have Spiffy installed, so it's mobile friendly and mobile optimized and just looks a whole hell of a lot nicer. So in this video, we'll show you exactly how to add fields like this and get them to actually plug into your Infusionsoft database and show up in the contact record in the back end. So let's just dig right in. This is gonna be a little bit more of an advanced tutorial as we're gonna be digging into a little bit of code, but I'll walk you through it step by step and uh, make sure that you understand what's going on. So first, we just head over to your Infusionsoft account and mouse over the Infusionsoft icon. And then under the admin section, let's click on settings. And under custom fields, click on the go button. And we're just gonna add a new field. If you already have your field added, don't worry about this step and we will be getting to you in just a moment. So we will just add a cool test field. So this is the, the field in the contact record that we want to populate with what they put into the custom field on the order form here. So next we just click on this link, view the field database names. And under the database name column, we'll just copy this name which is what Infusionsoft knows it by. Notice that they take out all the spaces. And in some cases, if this is a duplicate field, they'll add a number at the end. So make sure to copy this and not the label. And then we will just head over to e-commerce setup, go to the order form section and click on the order form you wanna edit. And then under HTML areas, this is where we're gonna be adding the field code that will make it show up like so. With this video, we're gonna be giving you all of this code. Each of these sections is a different type of field. You'll notice here that we have a text area. This one is a drop down field. Up here, we've got a just a normal text field. The text area is for multi-line. This is a bigger bigger input if so someone were to have a longer comment or something like that. This one is a drop-down menu, much like Infusionsoft uses for the country select. And these are the radio buttons. So I'll show you how to use each of these four elements to customize your order forms and get additional information from your customers. So first, we have copied the field name, so let's plug in the field name under the text field. So I'm just gonna go ahead and paste. And notice that I didn't replace this entire name. I only replaced the placeholder, which was your field name. We wanna make sure that we keep contact zero underscore in front of the field name. So I'll paste it there. And this field is pretty well good to go. You'll notice that over here we have it say your dog's name. So that is just called a placeholder. What we'll do is we can just modify this and let's just say ship to name. Maybe we're shipping a gift and we wanna know who we're shipping it to and this is gonna be the name on the box. And then all we do is copy this code and plug it right into the HTML area of our order form Click on save and let's head back over to our order form and refresh and we see ship to name. And this is basically the same for each of these. So we have our a cool test field database name. I'll just copy that one more time. And if we want a text area, we just replace it here. And then we can replace the placeholder here. Maybe we want a gift card note in this one. And then you copy and paste this into the same spot. Or if you want a drop-down menu, this one is a little bit more advanced. 
All we do is copy the database name. We'll paste it right in at the same spot where we see the contact zero underscore. And we have the first option. So each of these, you'll see that they're labeled options. Each of these are options that people can select. The first one is just telling them what they're selecting. So maybe in this case, we want people to select flower color. And then each of the other options, we can just change to a color. So red, blue, green, and pink. And the, what we just changed is basically what shows up to the user under the value is what will be actually entered into the custom field in your contact record within Infusionsoft. So we need to make sure to change these as well. So we'll change this to red, blue, green, and pink. And then this field is good to go. So you can add this as well into your order form. And we'll just, we'll add multiple, how about that? So we have both in here. So now we're asking for a, a couple different pieces of information from people. So now you see we have ship to name and select flower color. Let's head back into our code and I'll show you how to do a radio button as well. So choose one. You can have this say choose how you found out about us. And this can be Google, a friend, carrier pigeon. Now on this one, we also need to replace the database field name. So we will just copy this here. And you'll notice that it's in three different spots. So we need to make sure to do it on all three. So we're replacing your field name with our field name. Oops, I just hit copy. Paste it in right there, paste it in right there. And we also need to change the value on these as well. So this one is Google, so let's change this one to Google. This one is a friend, we'll just change it to friend. It doesn't need to match, but you definitely want it to be similar so you know what they selected. And this one we'll call pigeon. And now this one is ready. So let's just copy this one into our order form as well. So I'll go down, I'll just put it below what we just did before. Now when we refresh the page, you notice we have ship to name, we've got flower color and how they found out about us. And they can only select one. When they check out, all of this is gonna be added into that single custom field. So this is not how you would normally wanna set this up. You definitely want a custom field for each one of these. So maybe this would be a cool custom field three, this one would be a cool custom field two, and this one will be a cool custom field one. So they're not overriding each other. So basically how this is set up, these radio buttons will be the only thing that shows up in that field that we created before. So make sure you create a custom field for every single element you add to your order form or else you're not gonna be collecting all of the information. You're only gonna get the last thing. And that is basically how you add custom fields to your order form. You can go ahead and do a test purchase now and you'll see it come up in the contact record once you've checked out. If you have any questions, feel free to comment below or you can contact Spiffy Support. This does work on Infusionsoft order forms with or without Spiffy. But if you're looking to make more sales online, it definitely makes sense to optimize your order forms for mobile devices. And that's what Spiffy helps you do. Just simply copy and pasting a single line of code into your Infusionsoft order forms and transforming it into something like this. And with Spiffy installed, it definitely makes it easier to do things like custom fields that look nice and are mobile friendly. So head over to gospiffy.com, sign up for an account today, and if you need any help with getting custom fields set up, contact support or just comment on the video below.